my money, bitch. <laughs> yeah, ho, when I see you earning my money, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I, I, I pulls up to the block where you say your nigga trapping at. Get the bands out of his pocket. What's good, Hood Bougie Gang? It's your girl, Finesse Those Slim. Coming to you guys with another Hood Bougie video. And y'all know how we do. Hmm. Mimosas on a Tuesday. Anyways, y'all know I usually don't like to talk about drama, but um, this incident really had me bothered. So, I'm going to speak on it, okay? And get the girls together. And y'all know, the, uh, these are really my glasses. Like, it really helped me see. I don't know if y'all knew that about me or not, but I'm blind as fuck, okay? <laughs> Mind your business. You want my business? <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get into this video about King Von's death. Okay, hood bougie gang. So, I know y'all heard about the whole incident with the young man named King Von. And I... I've been trying to take these nails off, so don't judge me, okay? S stay over there, okay? But anyways, I know y'all heard about the whole King Von situation. I really didn't know him as an artist or knew him at all. Um, I heard about it because my child's father is from Chicago and my daughter was born in Chicago. I was raised in Chicago. Um, but me personally, I do not care for Chicago just because it's a lot of violence there. So I don't like being in Chicago um, for multiple reasons, which we go get into the tea, okay? But anyways, um, so yeah, I watched a video where um, he basically was, it looks like they were jumping somebody or they were, I don't know what happened, but they were fighting basically. And then um, the dude from, I guess, Quando Rondo team pulled out the gun and shot um, him, allegedly. You know, I don't know how much of it is true, but I did watch the video and that's what it did look like to me, um, which was very sad. It really did almost make me cry because it was just a simple fact of like, not even him as a person because I don't, you know, I don't know him or know, you know, people talking, saying it's karma because of FBG Duck, what he said and did about him. I don't really know. I'm just saying the problem is another young black man just got killed. And y'all y'all talking about, oh, it's hood beef. That make it okay for a young black man to get shot in the street. They got kids just because he was gang banging. It's okay. Hmm. Makes sense. Make it make sense. Okay. Um, so like, I, I really be trying to like think of how to put this for y'all because y'all know I'm really hood for real. So I get the, get the going. So I'm trying to keep it classy, just the bougie side. Okay. But anyways, um, for one, y'all really don't understand how many people i'm looking at my nose that's what i'm doing but y'all don't understand how many people black men how many stripes and battles that y'all already have against y'all okay for one they're trying to demasculate y'all so a lot of our black men are gay you know what i'm saying not to say there's nothing wrong with that but then okay so they have these black men over here that's gay cool then they have they have police br brutality where they're killing us too, you know, and coming up with excellent reasons, not, of why they're killing us and getting off with it. Then we have a percentage of our black men in jail. And then if they're not in jail, you guys are killing each other. How does that make sense? How are we winning? Like, how are we winning? Well, what please tell me what are we how are we winning in what way that our black men they're killing our black men off y'all killing each other they're killing us and they're putting y'all in jail how what like you know what i'm saying like that don't make sense in the, the remark that i made about gays you know i don't have nothing against gays but what i'm saying is okay now they they're they're winning in that aspect because now we're not creating kids. So now it's less black, it's less black babies are born because some of our black men are gay, which 
What you do is what you do, honey. That's your business. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not in your business. I'm not in your business. Don't get mad at me. I'm not in your business. But it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, everything that y'all saying about the drama, it, it shouldn't even matter about what happened. It's, it's sad that a young black man was killed wow. and that he thought it was okay, you know, or people think it's okay for people to be game banging and he died being a soldier. He was a soldier. He was a hood nigga. He died a real nigga. You think that's cute? I'd rather die lame sitting in a house and die when I'm old than die in the streets. That's sad. You know what I'm saying? And whoever this make man, I really truthfully don't give a fuck because it need to be said. And it starts with the parents. Like, y'all got to do better. It's not okay. It's not okay for us to be killing each other, regardless, period. It's not okay. But, um, and then you have suicides going on. Do y'all know, and this is facts, look it up. Drop it in the comments if y'all think I'm wrong. 3,000 people die from suicide. Black African-American people. 3,000 black African-American people die well, committed suicide this year. And this year is not even over. And it was 3,000 suicides this year from black men because it was majority men. Like, just like the baby, what he was saying, like his brother committed suicide, RIP to King Vine and uh, the baby brother. Cause you know what I'm saying? That's sad, two black men are gone. But it's like, when y'all go wake up, <laughs> It's bigger shit. It's bigger shit out there than y'all killing each other. And like, the thing is, mental health is very important. I don't know why we knock that in the black community, but it's very important. <sighs> Let me take a minute. I'm going to come back. So anyways, like I was saying, um... The deaths in Chicago is crazy too. Um, it was like earlier when I checked it, they had posted in July, um, July 26, 2020, that it was 673 homicides in Chicago, which is crazy as fuck because it was July. So that means now it probably didn't double because it's the end of the year. So it's probably over a thousand homicides in Chicago alone. Like, and I can guarantee majority of them is black men. I don't see how people don't see that as an issue or people like everybody in the shade room under the comments. Oh, R.I.P. Vaughn. He was a real nigga. He was a real street nigga and all that. How is that cute, though? You know what I'm saying? Like, he died due to gang violence. Like, and that's the issue. That That's what we need to be talking about. Like, the whole street credit and that that's cute and all, if y'all y'all think so, but that's crazy. That's ridiculous. It doesn't make sense. So, like I previously stated, y'all killing each other, committing suicide, and letting them lock y'all up. How we winning? Like, y'all, everybody was so happy. Oh, Joe, Joe Biden won and... Yeah, yeah, we really up. No, we can only help ourselves. The black community has to help the black community. You feel me? Like, all that, can't no white man come and tell me about black people problems. He's white. He won't understand. I, you can't even relate to me. We can't even sit at the same table. We came, we came up two different ways, like, period. Um, so, the black community can only help the black community. You feel me? Like, they're not trying to help us. You think these people want to keep, want you to, people want to see you do good, but not better than them, if we go say it like that. You feel me? So, they don't want us to do better than them. Therefore, like I said, they will always put these things just like media, just like in the media, how they make it seem cute for girls to be stripping and, and men to be shooting people. They're literally promoting hoes, thugs, gang bangers, all that to y'all in the music. So now you have Lil John John that's nine years old that watch watch Lil Baby. I'm, I'm in the streets killing, doing all this goofy shit that he may not even be really doing. Because half of them artists, 
Okay, let me come back. Let me come back. Let me get my baby together and come back. Okay, and we're back. I'm sorry. It's the mommy life for me. It's the mommy life. Y'all here in the coffin just doing too much. But I'm trying to I'm trying to get y'all the video, okay? <laughs> Mind your business. But anyways, so like I was saying, they're promoting all this stuff in the music. Basically, it's definitely working for the white people. You feel me? They love rap music and gang music because they, for one, it has the, we're not talking about the grown folks. You feel me? That can comprehend and know like, okay, stripping ain't cool. So, you know, whatever the case may be, not to knock strippers. I don't care what nobody else do. I'm just telling you my opinion. If you don't like it, then <laughs> unsubscribe, don't subscribe, mind your fucking business and leave from my video. Okay. But anyways um so you have kids that's brain their brain isn't even fully developed and they're watching rap music which you should not be allowing your kids to watch certain stuff like that so that's the problem first and foremost but anyways so they're listening to this rap music young man think it's okay to be trapping and rapping and it's cool because he see his mama struggling so he like damn i gotta get it off the muscle just like Lil baby did or the baby did or these rappers Lil dirk all that oh now we got to get it off the muscle so now he really is what y'all call a savage so he'll go in the streets killing people um selling drugs doing all this crazy shit right which if y'all really was woke for real how y'all claim to be why y'all so happy joe biden won y'all would know that the government is really giving y'all these drugs and guns because how the fuck is y'all getting them they they're not going to give you any they're not going to give you or you're not going to have anything unless they want you to have it but we ain't gonna say nothing about that but anyways how y'all getting all these drugs and stuff it, Y'all don't think that they know what the fuck really be going on? How y'all be talking about, oh, serious, uh, serious the feds and all this? Yes, she really is. She really is. How y'all think that y'all, when y'all talk about something, now y'all phone, you talk about Popeye's, not Popeye's ad popping up on your phone and you ain't even in searched it. Yes, they're the feds. They know, they know everything. And y'all are stupid as fuck. Like, it, it kills me. Like, they're, they're putting drugs in the black communities because they know it's going to get y'all locked up, killed, or strung out on drugs. They're, it's a it's a win-win for them. <laughs> and, and you know what? I'm not even mad about it. And don't think like, oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. My uncle is in jail for the rest of his life for selling drugs. For the rest of his life. And this was the man that's my father figure. You feel me? He's in jail for the rest of his life. My biological father did 13 years in prison for drugs. So I know what I'm talking about. You feel me? But anyways, so they do that as well to keep a black man down. But anyway, so now little Tommy, little Jerry, whatever we go call him, he think that that's cool. So now he in and out of jail. Then now whatever kids he have growing up thinking that's the way. So they're winning. You feel me? They're winning because we're killing each other, committing suicide, gays, all that. Excuse me. All that to depopulate. Blacks. You know what I'm saying? They they do what they do. Why do y'all think that they push so hard for birth control and birth control and um what what is it? The little different methods for to help you not have conceived childs or whatever abortions they make abortions so cheap why is abortion so cheap you could go get a abortion i believe it is like 200 to 500 dollars why is that so cheap hmm but i'm gonna I'm let y'all think about that but they put that in our communities Everywhere you go have a little um, pregnancy center. When I went and found out about my baby, the white lady literally told me this. She was like, oh, I'm just giving you this pamphlet just in case you want a, um abortion or um, what was it? Adopt to give my child up for adoption. Which really, they will sex traffic my baby if I gave her up. If they felt like she was pretty enough or whatnot, they would have sex trafficked her. But anyways, we ain't gonna say nothing about that. 
do you feel me? But I'm, I'm just giving y'all the tea. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just giving y'all my tea. My 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 opinion. Y'all drop it in the comments what y'all think. I want to see these comments. I do. <laughs> but anyways, I'm I'm not going to get into to all that. You feel me? Too much of all that. I had to double and dabble, but I ain't going to get into that. But like I said, it was really sad that he died. And then I did hear something about his friends apparently going to his house and allegedly stealing his things, which I wouldn't put it past him. I wouldn't put it past him. And we're back. I got a call, but I really got to get back to work. So that's pretty much it. I'm on my lunch break making this video for you guys because I'm trying to be more consistent because you guys have really been working with me. Like, I'm so close to monetization. It doesn't even make sense. So I really appreciate that. Um, you guys, give me your opinion. Negativity will be blocked off my channel. Y'all know how I do. You don't like it. Don't comment. Keep it going. This thumbs down it and keep it going. Because if you comment, this mouth it's all back <laughs> but yeah um like oh but right before like i was saying you guys are killing each other and dying for people that wouldn't die for you that's what i was gonna say you you guys are out there gang banging and doing all of that stuff for people that wouldn't die for you people don't be real period they put on that facade while you're around because you got the money, you helping them out. So they act like they for you. But really, when it's when shit hit the fan, they not going to be for you. And that's period. But like I said, RIP to King Von. You know what I'm saying? Um, and also the baby brother, because I heard, you know, about the whole suicidal thing. And mental health is, a, is very well, real. You guys need to, I don't know why black people think, oh, we can't get bullied. We can't be depressed. We can't. Yes, mental health is real. It's a mental thing. And, it, and it's real. Some people need help. They can't cope with a lot of shit that go on, especially in our black community. So, yes, get help. If, they, if they're if they showing you signs that they need help or they're feeling depressed, I suffer from depression. So, I know. It's an ongoing battle. You feel me? So, definitely get people help. Sometimes it's, it's even if they don't want to talk to a psychiatrist, just let them talk to somebody, you know? Um, but thank you guys so much, guys, for listening. I'm all tongue tied. I gotta hurry up and get back to work. <laughs> Y'all know work from home life. But um, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will have a lot of new content coming. Y'all way. Join the hood bougie gang. What side are you? Hood or bougie? Let me know in the comments. You feel me? I got a couple of people saying they on the bougie side. Where my hood girls at? Where my hood people at? Come on. Get them together. But thank you guys. Love you. Bye. My money, bitch. <laughs>